All right. Welcome back, everyone. Miss Clary Chambers, how are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm feeling very pumped up. Got my like bright pink shirt on for this. I know. I love the colors. You're thank just you. like bright and cheerful. Uh, thank you for taking the time to connect with us today. And really, we're so excited to get to know you and the powerhouse that you are and everything that you are up to in the world. And um, really excited to have you out at Rise. Yes, like 77 days of counting <laughs> from the time we filmed this. And where are you in the world right now? Okay, so right now I am in the UK. I'm across the pond. And so I'm in Liverpool, or they would say Liverpool <laughs> here in the, in the UK. But when I'm back in Canada, I'm usually based uh, well, all over Ontario and Vancouver Island, kind of back between the two. Awesome. Well, we're excited to have you out to the mountains and join us. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> last couple months it's gonna be amazing amazing I mean you get to hang out in a castle so <laughs> right what could be better awesome why don't you share a little bit about what you're up to in the world and who you are and what you got going on perfect yeah so as Mandy said and thank you for having me my name is Clary Chambers and I am the founder of Spark Clarity and at Spark Clarity, we have the mission to empower folks just like you to live your most authentic lives. And at Spark Clarity, it's all about talking about hard topics, but in a way that's light and uplifting. I became a speaker and started this whole journey because I felt there wasn't enough people who were being truly honest with just how their life is going day to day. I would say this, and I think I said this to Mandy over the phone once when we were chatting, and I said, you know, I felt like every speaker was like, I used to have all these problems, but now I'm Oprah, and like, everybody's gonna get a car. And I just remember like going to talks and just thinking like, I really struggled to get here today. Like, they don't have any problems. Like, so it was a, a leap of faith in myself and encouraged to take on this role. So what I do is I run um, inspirational workshops and talks now globally all over the world and soon to be in Alberta like Louise as well. And I show folks and I show women and women identifying folks the resiliency and the strength that they have within themselves. I use a lot of playful elements. Spark Clarity is all about laughing, growing, playing and healing together. And when I'm not speaking and when I'm not uh, inspiring other people and just sharing my story and connecting with people, I am very passionate about helping making spaces more inclusive for folks like myself with invisible illnesses and invisible disabilities. I love it. And we're so aligned. Like when I, I, when we first talked, I think I was driving mm -hmm. to Edmonton. You were, you were. <laughs> We like cut out a few times when I was driving through the hills or whatever, but we talked for like two hours and we were we so did, yeah. in how you just keep it real. And I Thanks. love that, right? Because it's not about like, I was here and now I'm on the other side of it and everything's rosy. Like we are always an evolution. We are always in process. We are always in progress. And mm -hmm. so even, even when we overcome really hard things, we're still trying to find that best version of ourselves. And I love that your work is about, let's be real about where we're at, about where we've been and also about where we want to go. Right. And yes. um, so, yeah. I mean, and, and I love that you have a sense of humor too, because some of this <laughs> stuff is really, um, really triggering to talk about, right. When we're talking about things in our past or, or overcoming hard challenges in our lives, but you find the light and you do keep it uplifting, which I think is good, is, is a really fun place to, uh, to learn and to grow. So thank you. That's really nice. <laughs> yeah. We're excited to have you. And today we're talking about living your truth mm -hmm. and it's just like a short condensed version of, you know, giving people a little bit of perspective about who you are and um, how you're going to support their rising journey. So yeah. tell me what it means to you to live your truth. So for me, living my truth means I get to be my most authentic self, like the true Clary. And as I mentioned before, I also have an invisible illness. I have fibromyalgia and I also have an invisible disability. I'm dyslexic. And then I'm also gay. So there's all these things that are invisible about me that when you look at me, you have no idea that those things exist. So being able to live my truth was getting to a point, and this is like, as you said, Mandy, like this is only the starting point, but getting to a starting point where I felt like I could be my true self, where I could share things about myself and, and not hold it all in. All of those things. When, 
we can't be who we are when we're not supported, when we're not in inclusive spaces. We can't truly be the person that we were meant to be, like all those passions that we have inside of us, we can't actualize. And so I wanna thank you for creating such a impactful space already without even having gone to rise. Like that's the greatest part about what you're doing with the ACE class. And I can feel it all the way in England, you know? Like I feel part of this community. I feel like my, my rising story now includes uh, the ACE class that includes, you know, RISE, the conference of 2020, because you're, cre because you're being mindful to create these spaces for us. So thanks yeah. for that too. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. And yeah, I love that you said that. We can't be who we are when we're not supported. And that's what RISE is about. That's yes. what ACE is about. It's, about. it's about connection and it's about community. And, and what happens when we start living our truth and speaking our truth, or when one woman has the courage to get up and speak her truth, another woman does. And then we start to step out of this place of isolation and into a place of community. And yes. that's what yes. we have worked really hard to create. And certainly that's what we can expect at rise as well. So you have a really fun worksheet that I everyone that should have received in their email already. And if you don't, you can check the links below and make sure that you download that and have it. But talk us through this. Like what is this live your truth exercise all about? Okay. I love this exercise because it can be done so easily. So it's not one of those things where you're like, oh, okay, I'm gonna have to like hire a babysitter or like get like put my dog in the other room so that I can like finish this worksheet. It's really simple. And it's actually the first thing I did with myself when I was going through my own mental health journey and just starting to realize like this is a bigger issue than just you know like reading stuff online like i need to go get help for myself and so i i just journaled this down on my paper and i wrote to myself what do you want more of and what do you want less of because i was so stuck i was in so much pain from my fibro i uh, was just getting through university and just felt like i couldn't see myself like where was i gonna be able to thrive and rise in the world, I couldn't figure it out. So I made this sheet and I took it to my counselor, like not the sheet you see today, the sheet you see today is beautiful. This is just like my scribbled note on like a back of an envelope. And I took it to my counselor and I said like, this is like what I exercise I did. And she's like, where did you find this? I was like, oh, I made it. She's like, oh, I feel so bad because I feel like I should be giving you something like this. So I was starting my business around the same time. So I decided to get it made. And it looks like this if you haven't seen it yet. It's all like, has these really cool icons and it has like little moon phases and everything. And the doodles that are on here are from my very first talk in 2017, where I was my intro, I was starting Spark Clarity and it was called Live Your Truth. So when you're looking at this sheet here, first of all, you're gonna notice like you need to get yourself some markers or some crayons, steal your kids or friends or go out and buy some. And you, it gives you the chance to get out of your head and just into a sheet of paper. And you can do this exercise. I would say if you give yourself 10 minutes, well, we can do it together now. So that, that way you can get through it. Sure, I love it. It's okay. so great. And who made this for you, the little doodles? Oh, this is so good. So my friend, uh, Corinne, and uh, it's Co Blue on all things social media. She's an amazing graphic designer, yoga teacher, epic spiritual human. She's so fantastic. And she's very playful like myself. So she made all these. And these were the doodles that she made at that first talk. And so we put it onto the sheet here. It's cool to see your evolution. Yeah. And I love, I love the creativity because even just like having that sheet of paper and like, you know, not having to worry about it being perfect and like writing things out. Yeah. Being like plain dump in a way that's so cute that you can put it up on your wall. Yeah, like where please. <laughs> Yeah, I, uh, my printer died this morning, so I couldn't print it out, but I'm printing it out later, and I'm definitely going to go to town with some colors. Cool. Yay, oh Betty. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I love it. Okay, let's do it then. So okay. what's on the worksheet? So this is how we get started with this. So know that when we're talking about living our truth, I always tell people at the beginning of all my talks, all my work uh, shops, to not just like expect that your whole life's going to change from this moment. So if you have that pressure on yourself, like, oh, this is really good. Just let it go. It's okay. Like just know that taking this time for yourself is so important because you're the most important person in the story of your life. So you got to give to yourself before you can give to others. So this is an opportunity for you, no matter where you find yourself in your life, your journey, um, your age or your gender, this is just for you to just take stock of your life and think right now, 
what is it that you want more of and what is it that you want less of? So we'll start with the more because more is always easier, I find. And this doesn't have to be stuff like, I want uh, more time in my business to do, 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 or I, like, it doesn't have to be things that are so um, concise. I write things like, I want more pink and I want more time with my friends and I want more dancing and I want more snacks, always want more snacks. <laughs> <laughs> and I want more sunshine and I want more office spaces <laughs> look like Mandy's. So like all these things <laughs> that you want more of and they're all valid. The most important part, because I feel like you might hes hesitate is to remember that you deserve whatever is in your heart. So put down whatever it is and I'll show you a sheet that I've done and you can see there's like little arrows that are all on it. So it can just be super playful. Like you just put however you want it to be. Like it, it and another sheet, like stickers, like <laughs> but whatever. Oh, I have these little emoji stickers. So I just put like, I want more hard eyes, right? I love it. It's yeah. so good. Okay. Those so then are good. I, yeah. I want more <laughs> Yeah, I'm all worse. I saw you laugh and I was like, we're all on the same level, me and Mandy, yeah. we both want snacks. So yeah, so, so take some time now to just do, jot down at least five. Okay. So take, take that moment and uh, Mandy, maybe you can share after you've done what you're five. Yeah. And if you're tuning in, you're sitting at your desk or you're just like driving in your car, hopefully you're not driving and, walk and watching us, but. Um, <laughs> um, driving and listening, maybe. Okay, we'll take like a, I'll, I'll, I'll take a hot second and write a few things down, but think about this through the lens of your own life as well. Like what's coming up for you? Of what do you want more of? Uh, what do you want less of? So I'm going to write, I've got a couple of things coming to my mind. And if you feel like, you know, you're like, okay, I already know what I want less of. Cool. Like you can start on that. But for now, just five things. What do you want more of? And then we'll do our five things for what do you want less of? A drink of water. And if there's more than five, like don't also like, you know, everyone who's listening, like don't feel like, you know, if you need another sheet, like print yourself off another sheet. Like, yeah. yeah. This is so I'm like met like this is my currently like my Yes. Best. Yes. I like it. <laughs> I like it later because we want to put this shit on the wall right yeah okay. exactly okay mandy what do we got what do i want more of i want more sunshine boom sunshine, sunshine. <laughs> uh what do i want more of more baths so i just i'm not a bath person I really, like took a bath <laughs> and it was so nice and i'm like i'm a big bath person this. like i got one of those bath trays and so uh, you, took, yeah. <laughs> you, just, you went from zero to 100 with baths you're like if i'm doing yeah. a bath well, my husband actually, like, we have two bathtubs in our house, and I'm not yeah. a bath. He kind of, like, made a comment one night, and he's like, yeah, that bath never gets used. And I'm like, I'll show you. I'm going to use that bath. <laughs> and so I went on Amazon, and I was like, okay, bath tray. <laughs> and you, it's, like, one of those, like, it's $34, and it's amazing. And you just yeah. put it over to the bathtub, and it, you can slot your book into it, and it's got, like, a little candle holder and, like, your wine glass if you want that. And anyways, I had a great bath, and I, got, I want more baths. I love this list. This is a rocking yeah. list. We're only at two. Okay. I want more family time. So my mom lives in Vancouver and um, I've made a conscious effort and like on my vision board this year, like I've got a picture of Vancouver, like wanting to get back there more often and spend more time with my mom. So right. more family time. Uh, I want more white space. Mm. So I am, uh, my calendar is like um, I find freedom in, in over scheduling, like having things, but I actually would like just some time that's unscheduled and I can have a bath or read <laughs> or, or drive to Vancouver. Vancouver. <laughs> right. Yeah. That's a lot of white space. That'd be 10 hours of white space to drive to Vancouver, but, um, green juice. Okay, girl, get it. Green juice. I put green juice on my list of things I want more of. Um, what, do, what else do I want more of? Uh, yoga. Ooh. And uh, what else is on? And freedom. Boom. So there's my list. That's my list. That's I love it. That's what Was, 
how did you find the process of doing it? Was it something that was really easy for you to write these things down or like what was going, going through your mind if you're open I, to share? So what was going through my mind, uh, I, we actually did a vision board workshop in, um, in January. So some of this felt a little bit fresh for me and some cool. of the, some of the actual pictures that I have on my vision board are of like books and green juice and Vancouver, right? So I have some things mm. in my head that I've already been thinking about, Hey, what do I really want to be intentional about in my life this year? Um, but other than that, I'm just like, the, what do you want more of? Like to me, that's like, well, what feels good, right? Like what lifts me up? And, and, and like you said at the beginning, like if you're not taking care of yourself, you can't take care of other people. Right. So the things I put down on this list is like, well, what would take care of Mandy? What would make me feel good to help me show up better in the world? And you know, some freedom and some white space and some family time and green juice is good start. I love that. That's so great. And it's also cool to hear that you have had these things kind of in your mind before. So that now it's like a, like, it's like a heck yes for yeah. the things that you want in your life, the things that you want more of. Yeah. And I can see how, you know, if, if this, so when I did the vision board thing, I must admit though, it was uh, hard for me to come up with a list at that time. So for anyone that's listening right now that might feel a little bit stuck about putting anything down on a piece of paper, uh, just give yourself a little bit of white space, right. To maybe think about that and like, think about the feelings or, or, or what would light you up. Um, but it might not come as easy as it just did to me because I have been reflecting on this for this, you know, since the beginning of the year so yeah exactly and I find that when I first did this activity I struggled because I was in a pace where in a place sorry that I didn't know what I was going to do what were my next steps and this was just my way of categorizing what do you want more of what do you want less of as a starting point but I've done this in workshops and people's sheets are completely blank so you didn't yeah. fail if you did that you are serving yourself so well by even being here and giving yourself if this is considered your white space, your time for yourself to even just be here and connect with us. So that's great. Are you ready to move on? Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. One thing on that, like if, if someone does have a blank page right now, like how do we, what, what's your advice to get unstuck? Yeah, that's, that's a good question. Like I would say that from all the times I've run this workshop and so it's probably had about like 500 people go through it so far. And most of the time when people feel stuck, in terms of especially with the more, it's because they feel they don't deserve to give themselves the things that they really feel like they might need. So then you might wanna look at instead, um, what's something that I really like? That might be an easier thing. Cause you're like, oh, well, I like being outside or I like Netflix or I like spending time with my pets. But I definitely have been in the spot to Mandy where I couldn't even get to those things. And I couldn't tell you what I like. And I think that what will, uh, what I have for everybody as a free gift at the end of this uh, to download will really help with that. I think that will be a very good unstucking or unsticking. Oh, <laughs> unstucking. Awesome. Cool. So, Our, yeah, stick around to the end of this and we'll let you in on an extra little bonus that Clary has so generously offered for everyone. So, great. Okay. Yeah, ready for the next. Okay. Next. So. If you're looking at the worksheet, it's kind of funny because all the emojis on the side get kind of sad, right? Like There's like teardrops, there's like a heart breakup, like little thing in the left corner. And like, I don't know, maybe it looks like an onion. I'm not sure. <laughs> but like, it's just kind of like, what do we want less of? And I think it also gives us this kind of feeling of a little bit of chaos and just a little bit of uncertainty. So what do we want less of in our lives? And I put this there because for someone like myself, who's gone, um, I up and down with my mental health. It's, it's all part of my uh, chronic invisible illness. So it's something that I deal with ongoingly. And so the less part can be hard because this ends up being an emotional part. It can be. So just as a, um, a heads up for that, but also sometimes it's freeing because you're like, yes, I actually do want less of these things. So think to yourself right now, wherever you are in Mandy, I thought those were great prompts about where are you going? What things are coming up? Like what's going on in your life? You could even do this for, for an event or like it's a birthday party. What do I want more of? What do I want less of? So think of five things is kind of like your goal. But if you don't hit it, like create your own goals, like you're in charge of your own life, you know? So what do you want less of? And I'll, I'll give some examples while thoughts are coming to your brain, but feel free to write. So I wrote this one and I love, I kept this one. I wrote this one now a year ago. And so I said, I want less worry, 
Uh, I want less messy spaces. I want less time alone. I also wrote, I want less bugs. I lived in a place that had bugs, so not bad bugs or anything, just like spiders, you know, regular bugs. <laughs> um, I wrote, I want less to-do lists, more to done lists. <laughs> and this is kind of funny, but I wrote, I want uh, less time uh, where snacks run out. So <laughs> I just put up snacks. <laughs> so um, I wrote that and a bunch of other stuff. I want less fear. I want less body pain. I want less worry and I want less doubt. That's kind of like my always one. I always want less self-doubt. Yeah. Awesome. That's a really good list. I, um, so I jotted down a couple things. Cool. Uh, what do I want less of? I want less screen time. Mm, uh, I want less cold weather <laughs> here in Calgary. Yes. Uh, I want less negative self-talk. Okay. Uh, I want less guilt. Uh, I want less anxiety. I want less stress. I want less shoulder pain. Mm. I want less emails. Uh, I want less fast food. And then I copied your doubt because we all have doubt. Yeah. I think it's a good, it's a good one. Like I, I've had people share in workshops, like if you feel comfortable and often like one person will start and then every, like a bunch of people will be like, I have that too. And yeah. so to hear other people, and like, it also feels good for me to be like, I'm not the only one with self-doubts. And a lot of the things you wrote, I want to, after experiencing a pretty uh, no snow winter for the first time in my entire life, I'm just like, this is, this is too nice. Like that's also, you know, you have to listen to those things. And again, Mandy, I'd love to ask like, how, how did this one feel compared to the other one? And just in general? Yeah, I think automatically it's sort of like, um, what's the word? It makes you, it takes you into a different place. Like I was immediately a little bit more, like my shoulders kind of dropped down. Mm. Like, oh, like it feels a little icky to write those things down of like, you know, how long have I been saying I want those less of that in my life? And like, why is it still there? So, mm -hmm. um, immediately actually my like negative self-talk showed up when I started writing these things down. I'm like, seriously, like I haven't dealt with this yet, but it also feels good to write it down on, on a piece of paper and say like, okay, what's the action for this? Like, how do I really achieve that? Yeah. Right? And, and that's so great that you're already thinking to action. And for some folks, it may just be having it up as a reminder in the same way that we put vision boards up. We put pictures, we put uh, like reminders, calendars, things that make us feel good because we're not always going to feel good all the time. Like our lives are so up and down with whether we're mourning or there's exciting things happening at work, stressful things happening at work, leaks happening in our house, like whatever the scenario. So we put up these, we decorate our spaces and we put all these nice things there to remind us of what matters in our lives. So you can yeah. put this up, even you too, Mandy, and like see it so that when you are having a great day, or even if you're having a harder day, and, and you're thinking like, I feel like we're so aligned in the, a lot of the things that, and the values that we have personally, and also in business, but you know, you, you're the type of person, at least to me, it feels like you're really trying to live your truth all the time. That's what brought you to this place. So it can just be a reminder. It's the thing is though, also Mandy, with you saying like, this makes me feel bad in some ways, like why haven't I dealt with this? The fact that you even can say what are the things that you want to make changes in your life is huge. A lot of us maybe who are viewing right now or listening are within the circles of people who are actively talking about how can I rise? How can I improve my life? Like, how can I be more connected to make this one time on earth uh, better and like just more meaningful? But there's so many people who wake up years into their lives and say, I don't even remember where that went. So if you are also feeling heavy, if you're feeling like, oh, like why are all these things here? Know that the fact that you know that they're there means that you can make those changes because you're still alive. There's still time. And we're, it's all a journey, right? Like it's just, yeah. it's just to get thinking about how can we get closer to this ideal, which will continue to change and evolve all the time. Yeah. Yeah. And it's so powerful to have this just as the, the written cue. Like, yes, seriously go through this work worksheet and put it somewhere, whether it's like at your desk at work or where you get ready in the morning or whatever. It's really powerful to be able to see something because mm -hmm. when you, when you, and that's why people do vision boards and things like that is like yeah. when you 
about it all the time, you get those reminders, right? So thinking about this, I'm like, when I see, oh, I want less emails or, oh, I want less shoulder pain and I look and that's beside my desk, I'm going to be like, hey, you Stretch. know what? <laughs> I said I want less of that. I literally have, this is so funny. I have one of these like shoulder straps. Yes. Okay. What is it? How do you do it? I'm going to be like, I don't know. It's like, well, I can't do this right now. Okay. But so then like, it stretches. I need that. Stretches it back. It's a, another Amazon purchase. Um, <laughs> Make a store, Mandy. Make us a store. <laughs> I'll add this to my menu store. Anyways, but that'll be a cue to be like, yes. stretch, get up. Move. move yes. Or like, hey, I want less emails. Well, guess who has the, the power to create boundaries around emails? Me. So... Yeah. Do I need to do that right now? No, I'm just going to close that down and I'm going to go do what I need to do. Maybe on my, what do I want more of time, right? Maybe so you take a bath. I love, I love, yeah, exactly. I love the power. I love the power of just seeing it. And one more thing about this worksheet, because also congratulations, you did the thing. Uh, is <laughs> confetti. Oh, next time we film, I'm going to bring confetti. Yes. Like just, um, and is to think about the ideal could be for you is if you look at your less list, what kind of things can you do so that you continue to bring those less things into the more? And so that there's just continue to be more. And, you know, you can make your less and more things fun. I always, that's why I added, I want less time of snacks running out on my less, just to lighten it up a little bit, you know, because it's, I find it's so easy to think of all the things we could do better and change about ourselves. And it's harder to congratulate ourselves about the things we want more of. So feel yeah. free to even make edits and add in more of the things that you already are doing for yourself, like more time with, you know, the ACE class, I'm telling you. Get, a, yeah. get your ticket. With cool women. <laughs> Great. That are doing awesome things in the world. <laughs> exactly. What do you want less of? Time without us. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. We should make one as like a me one. Time totally. without us. Less time not drinking mimosas and sitting yeah, with exactly. women in conversation. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, okay. This is really, really powerful. Thank you for uh, this worksheet. And, you are welcome. Uh, I'm really excited to actually like color mine and put it up on the yes. wall. Yeah. Else the same. Um, so I'm asking all the speakers and really, you know, rise can mean so many different things to so many different people, right? We've had to rise up from different occasions in our life. We have to rise for people around us. For me, rise means it's a choice. It represents like we can do hard things, but we get to choose to rise up. And I want to know from you, Clary, like, what does it mean to rise in your life? It's such a great question. And it's just so amazing that the conference is called rise, like with around mountains, like you just really can feel that energy. When I think of this question, like, what does it mean to rise to me? I think of Maya Angelou's like uh, poem and still I rise in that part of it. And for me, rising is all about being able to overcome adversity, overcome challenges, but still maintain a sense of kindness. And so I know a lot of people in my life who have gone through immense challenges, who have faced uh, racism, sexism, like all of the isms, you know, and have really had horrific journeys. And not everybody can come out of those things and still have kindness towards others, kindness towards the world, and most importantly, kindness towards themselves. And yes. so when we are rising, and for me, like to rise, it, for me means to like reclaim my health in so many ways, going from, uh, you know, intense crippling pain for seven years consistently to being by and large, completely pain-free 90% of my day, while I still do all my, what I want more of and not what I want less of things. There's so much that goes into that, but being able to not only overcome the hard things, but to come out with kindness to me, that's what rising means. I love that. And kindness to others, but, but kindness and compassion for yourself. To ourselves. Yes. Cause that's, that's the hardest one. So beautiful. Uh, what can we expect from your talk at rise? Oh, I'm so excited. Well, you can expect Lee. This is a yeah, this is the scene. You know, you can expect some brightly colored outfits. I'll be, <laughs> yes. yes, yeah, maybe some bubbles too. But at at the conference, you can expect uh, to have a moment with yourself to feel completely seen, 
to feel like this is the exact place that you were meant to be. Like this is the sign you were looking for. And the Live Your Truth workshop, I feel is an amazing precursor to the self-love club, which is coming to the rise stage, which is all about how we can have conversations with our body, mind, and heart to invoke more self-love. It's not just like, love yourself. And you're like, cool, I hate myself. Or like, I'm working on that, but I don't know how. And it's through those three areas because a lot of us have a hard time loving ourselves, especially in times where we feel like our body has betrayed us. And in, in my case, maybe even in your case, like with your shoulder pain, you're like, I'm trying to love you, but you're hurting me, you know, and that, that's really hard. So how do we love our bodies and, and how do we love, uh, you know, ourselves when we, you know, when we maybe feel like we've let ourselves down. So you can expect a deep conversation with very light, uplifting and very fun, uh, talks and tools. It's going to be, it's going to be amazing. I'm really excited. I love it. I'm so excited too. Uh, you have a special bonus for everyone on uh, the call today. So I do uh, talk about that. Okay. So I find, I don't know about you, Mandy, but for me, I find this is a hard time of year for the happy juices to be flowing all the time. Hard. <laughs> right and our audience you know we're predominantly like in Canada and it's cold okay so let's not joke like <laughs> it's hard sometimes so what I have created for everybody here for just like wanting to celebrate you more and cheer you on is uh, eight ways to find more joy this season it's an ebook it's my first ebook and it's like first off first off the internet to you <laughs> I was gonna say first yes. off the press but everybody gets an ebook oh promo <laughs> so we'll put the link uh, down below and you may have already seen it in previous emails and communications but it's going to be called eight way well it is called but for you eight ways to find more joy this season it gives you just eight tips super simple super cheap of the bath is in there of things <laughs> so mandy co-wrote it no shit but could have but uh yeah from my from my heart to yours and it has all the tools that you can use and things are can be free completely and they're really easy things you can start to do today to find more joy in your life i love that and what a great time of year because it's like the february blues are that's real. what i'm saying like yeah. that's what i'm <laughs> saying <laughs> i'm doing it all wrong <laughs> um so thank you for your generosity with that and You're that's welcome. an incredible additional resource that we can you know so we don't have to wait all the way till april to get all these tips we oh, can start yes action right now and then be like ready and open for yeah the guys, right it's about taking action and that's really about what our community is about we know we have so many ambitious driven women in our community that are ready to do the work and so yes. um yeah you got some homework Just do the work and this is about living your best life so um the only person that's in control of that is you right definitely so I'd love it too. If anybody does do the sheet, well, I hope you all do, but if you do the sheet and you feel open to share it and you've colored it or not colored it, I'd love if you would take a picture and share it with me. And so you yeah. can hashtag uh, spark clarity or and hashtag um, join the rise too. So that we like are showing on both and then just tag at spark clarity um, at what's yours for the, for, uh, rise. At join the rise. Yes. Yeah. So we'll t if you post us on Instagram stories, we'll repost and clarity. Yes. Will Yes. It was just like party. <laughs> Everybody just be living your truth. Just show up like already. <laughs> yes. So good. Amazing. That's so good. Awesome. Well, this has been so amazing to connect with you today. Thank you for adding just a little bit more truth and a little bit more joy into our Aww. day today. You're and so welcome. Cannot wait to see you on stage and in the mountains for Rise coming up so quickly here. So yes. Looking forward to it. To it Yay. Guys. Thanks so much, Mandy, for having me. This is so fun and I cannot wait to boogie on out on the stage yeah. and with everyone at Rise too. Amazing. We'll see you then. Okay. See you then.